Hello guys, welcome to this episode 27 of the series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall continue to upload one episode every day till it in finishes. I shall walk through creating the index view of the customer controller that we built in the previous lecture in this lecture. Since these episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones, I request you to go through them before viewing this one. Now there are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials from start to finish. Finally, a request to subscribe to the channel and share it with like minded and so so by the end of this lecture we shall know how to scaffold a view from the action method in the respective controller and customize the view and then run the application to show the customer list. So let's flip over to Visual Studio now. So I've got this index action method which I built last time in the previous lecture and I will right click and click, click on add view. So I will go for razor view empty. So on the add new item, it comes up with this index.cshtml marked already and click on add and it will create the view for me, the basic view and I will get rid of this code and copy it from the code on my clipboard just to save a lot of time and now I will start explaining. Now this act model, let's start from the top. This add model directive provides a way to indicate you want to use strongly typed classes within our view files. Okay, So strongly typed means customer is a strongly typed view because it is written C sharp and C sharp is a strongly typed language. So strongly typed class, Okay, strongly typed model class. And then this add layout and this entire line of code, what it means, it gets the path of the layout file and add the title all customers to the dynamic dictionary collection known as the view bag. All right. And then these bunch of lines, what they do is they point to the controller action methods, add customer. So this is an ASP action and this is also an ASP action. These are action methods which are not there at the moment. So these lines point to the controller action methods add customer and get customer which are invoked when you click the add customer and get customer links. So these are anchors or links. So I will I am yet to write the add customer and get customer uh, action methods in the customer controllers which will come eventually in the next few lectures in the upcoming lectures. Now next a table. Now this is the table with a bootstrap class is formed with a table head having a row with heading ID name address telephone number that is all properties of the customer model. Now within the table body a for each loop is initiated where the customer model is iterated over each of these property values and it is evaluated and rendered as different table cells within one table row. Okay. So, and a separate table cell. Now, next we come to this code block for this table cell. So, a separate table cell with a link that invokes the update customer action method with the customer ID as the route ID and an image is then rendered within this row in the same TR or table row. Finally, this is the table cell that invokes the delete customer action method with a hidden type input or hidden input that stores the value of the customer ID with the name ID with the, this name ID and an image. This is the image are also rendered within the same row. Now this, these two action methods are also 
going to be written in the going to be shown or walked through in the upcoming videos and finally this is the link to redirect to the order page is formed this is the link to redirect to the order page go to order page is formed so that's all about the index view for this index action method right so now is the time to show because i've got the index view as well as the index action method i can click on the start link to show you the list of all customers so let us see i have clicked the start button on top to start the application i am still waiting for the browser to be rendered with the two applications web api as well as this client mvc application both are started simultaneously now you can see that the api application is running api running that is the indication and this is the mvc application client and if you click on here click here and you get the customers so we have got this three customer at the moment and you've got this add customer button you've got this get customer button and you've got this go to order page all of these are links but you know they are formed with button classes so they look like button so at the moment i cannot update i cannot delete because these are upcoming functionality in the next few lectures so in this lecture we have successfully built and demonstrated the index view for the index action method of the customer controller